Well, greetings everyone. Welcome back to Web Pastor Television. I am Web Pastor, and today we're talking about masturbation. Yeah, that's right, masturbation. You know, it's it's a it's a question we get often from young men, especially teenagers. They're burning with lust, you know. They're out there. They're getting uh, they're getting uh, turned on by the, the movies and the television shows and the billboards. And Women walking around scantily clad, you know, young ladies walking around in their little sister's skirt. And it's turning the guys on. You know, let's be honest. Men were men were created to be to be visually stimulated and that's just the way it is. So they they, they send us emails and they say, Hey, you know what? I'm getting sexually aroused. I shouldn't be fornicating with these women. The Bible's against it. What do I do about my lust? And what does the Bible say? Well, what does the Bible say about masturbation? The Bible's not not uh, full of information on it. And there is a case that is often referred to, and that's the it's called the sin of Onan. Onan was a young man who was, was uh, one of Judah's sons, and. Uh, uh, Judah's brother, one of Judah's sons, died. So, so uh, her wife came to Onan and said, "Marry me and raise up a, uh, a seed to your brother." And that was the, the the honorable thing to do, the right thing to do. So that's what they did back in those days. Now Onan, he knew that his uh, brother's seed would not be his but would belong to his brother and that's just how it worked Judah his father said go to your brother's wife marry her raise up seed for your brother do the right thing so Onan knew that the seed would not be his this is Genesis 38 9 and it came to pass when he went into his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground Lest he should give seed to his brother. All right. So here's Onan. Now what I just read to you is often referred to as the sin of Onan, and this is often linked to masturbation. That uh, he was with the woman, and just as he was about to uh, orgasm, he pulled it out of the woman, and he let it go on the ground. And this is called. The sin of Onan is often referred to as, as a warning against masturbation. That is total and utter nonsense. The reason Onan uh, uh, was killed, uh, because the Lord detested what he did, was not that he was masturbating. It was, it was that he refused to bring seed, uh, bring a child into the world that would belong to his brother and would further his brother's family name. And that's what the Lord detested. It wasn't that he was masturbating. The Bible's silent on masturbation. Uh, in fact, some people have referred to masturbation as onanism. That's total nonsense. It's a misnomer, and it should not, should not even be applied here. But here's the thing about masturbation is, is as we live in, 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 this, uh, in this increasingly carnal world, uh, young men and, and, uh, and uh, you know, even... Even the middle-aged and older men are more increasing, uh, more increasingly aroused, and that's the way society is today. But what is what what uh, what does the Bible say about that? Well, it says it's better to marry than to burn with lust. But nowadays, lust is everywhere. Lust is is from the time people wake up in the morning to the time they go to bed. It's all around them. Dynamics and and elements around them, especially in Western cultures, that that feed the lust and uh, and uh, promotes the the uh, the production of male hormones which which uh, which lead a man to become aroused so what to do about that well uh, as we uh, we can go to uh, I want to take you guys to this uh, to this uh, article here on masturbation and prostate cancer and it's at the WebMD let's get rid of the survey here we don't have to do that is that the WebMD is masturbation and prostate cancer risk. And it starts off by saying that frequent masturbation in young men is linked to higher risk of early prostate cancer. 
And one might think, well, young men should stop masturbating, right? But then it says that men in their 50s, it lowers their risk by, and the, the article goes on to say, 70%. You can see here, for men in their 50s, frequent masturbation was one or more times per week. Compared to the same age of men who reported never masturbating, 50-something frequent masturbators had a 70% lower risk of prostate cancer. So then it says, what's going on? The study wasn't designed to answer that question. But then it goes on to say later on, so it's not masturbation itself that is increasing prostate cancer risk in young men. More masturbation may just mean more sex drive. So what this basically says, so and more uh, and more uh, androgens bathing prostate tissues. So what that's basically saying is uh, men are are becoming aroused more often, and uh, the androgens are bathing the prostate. So, so the prostate. Uh, is being hit with these uh, hormones and uh, and uh, something needs to happen here as the frequency of the androgen bathing becomes more prevalent and the purging is not happening we're seeing greater uh, cases of prostate cancer and that is the problem now it wasn't that the ma that the young men were masturbating that was giving them prostate cancer. It was that they were being turned on so much throughout the day. That's the problem. And the WebMD goes on to say that um, that uh, it was actually the uh, the bathing of androgens uh, in the prostate tissues that is causing the, uh, the prostate cancer. The prostate gland uh, gets gets uh, gets uh, when it gets used. Especially uh, with with the older men, uh, masturbation itself may actually be helpful. It says, ridding the prostate gland of fluids that contain cancer-causing substances. So the the prostate needs a purging, and masturbation causes the purging. Now, it, when the Bible was written, uh, it was during a time when you know women dressed respectably, and there wasn't all of this uh, short skirts and and et cetera, et cetera, and, uh, and sexuality on television and, and, uh, and movies and so on. And so all of that, you know, it wasn't so prevalent, but now it's so prevalent that men are, be men are visually stimulated and they're becoming aroused. And the, the prostate gland is being, is, is, is uh, being, uh, being uh, you know, stimulated. And it's, and it's doing what it was designed to do. It was designed to to uh, to do something right but it's because it's not doing anything with it generally speaking um, uh, cancer is forming in the prostate because of this because of the arousal of, of, uh, of society's uh, in-your-face uh, sexuality all the time men are becoming aroused not doing anything about it most of the time uh, whether it's masturbation or having sex and this is what is causing the prostate cancer. So, so basically what I am saying to you is the Bible, silent on masturbation. However, it does say that it's better to marry than to burn with lust. Now, if you're in a position today of burning with lust all the time, especially a, a teenager, a young man perhaps, uh, uh, I'm going to say that uh, it is better to masturbate than to get uh, prostate cancer, and it's better to masturbate than to burn with lust and uh, and do things that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, it is better to release that. But I want to end this study by saying this: seek out places, seek out peer groups, seek out environments where you're not so turned on all the time. Your body's not designed to be turned on all the time without doing anything about it. Your body is designed to live in an environment where, where modesty prevails and when you do get turned on it's in an intimate situation with a spouse and you're able to do something about it. But we live in an age today when nothing is in, in, inhibited and anything goes and so young men and, 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 and men of, of all age groups are being turned on and nothing's being done about it. And the body and the prostate doesn't get the purging that it needs. 
and and uh, and so people need to if you're a believer you want to live according to the Word of God you want to be a spiritual man surround yourself with with uh, environments and dynamics which uh, which uh, don't turn you on so much and that is the answer to that and when when the when you reach a, a a point when when the, when the, when things are just overheated and something needs to happen, but it's not in a, in a, in a marriage relationship, uh, then you need to take care of that for your health's sake, for your for your sanity's sake, because because you we're in a hyper sex driven culture now, and uh, and uh, I say the Bible is is uh, is silent on that part of it. Take care of that. Take care of your health, and get that release. But men, you got to position yourself to where you're in an environment where you're not being turned on all the time. That is not healthy for you. That is what is causing prostate cancer. So there you go. The Bible and masturbation. Now you know. God bless you. Thanks for watching.